Hey coaches, Steve here from Coaching Corps, and I hope all is well. Today, we're gonna to be going over a drill called Stop and Drop. This drill will help your athletes multitask as they'll have to focus both on dribbling and shouted instructions at the same time. There's not much setup for this drill as players will be dribbling around the half court except to give every player except for one a ball. Instructions. So with each player with that ball, the player without a ball is gonna be called the stopper. The players will dribble around the court until they hear the stopper yell the word stop. Once they hear that, they must stop and wait for the stopper to yell out drop. When the stopper yells drop, players will then put the ball on the ground and run to a new ball, at which point the stopper can also try and find a new ball. The player who is left without a ball will become the new stopper. Let's see what this actually looks like with our animated drill to the right. So we have our stopper right outside the three-point line, yelling out instructions, stop, drop. Now it's a mad dash to find an open ball. The player who is left out without a ball will now become the new stopper. A great part of stop and drop is there are a lot of ways that you can vary this drill to work on different skills. So in one variation, after a stopper yells stop, the stopper can then yell pivot and all players must pivot in a 360 degree circle until the stopper yells drop, at which point they'll have to run and find a new ball. You'd also have players work on different uh, ball handling tricks too. Have them uh, go around the waist, around the ankles, do figure eights around their legs, or use finger taps to, to push the ball back between uh, both hands. Some coaching points. Focus on fundamentals. Dribbling with fingertips, close control of the ball, and keeping their head up. Also, have your athletes focus on control and not on speed. This is also a great opportunity for team building. Have your stopper say their name and share something about themselves, like their favorite basketball player or favorite ice cream, to give other athletes on the team a chance to get to know a little bit something more about the stopper. So I'm gonna play the animation one more time for you to take a look at. Other than that, I wanna thank you for taking a look at Stop and Drop. Have fun with the variations and be sure to take, check out more animated drills and discussion in Coach's Corner.